Hello and welcome to this video about burn assessment. This is a very important topic because it will decide the treatment for your patient and here we will explain it. So burn is assessed by calculating the total body surface area affected by the partial thickness which is the second degree and the full thickness which is the third degree burns using one of these methods which include the rule of nine the rule of palms and the land and browder chart so basically we calculate the total body surface area affected by the burn of the second degree and third degree burns uh, using the rule of nine or the rule of palms initially when we are pre-hospital or in the emergency department and once we reach the burn unit, we use the land and the broader chart to calculate the total body surface area affected by the burn. And we will explain each of these methods in the next slides. Now, superficial, which are the first degree burns, are not included in the calculation of the total body surface area. This is very important to know. The superficial burns are not included. We only calculate the second degree and the third degree burns. And the cleaning of debris and soot is mandatory to avoid confusing debris with burns. So it is important to clean all the debris out of the patient skin to make sure to calculate the total body surface area affected by the burn precisely. Now, what is the point of calculating the total body surface area in assessment of burns? Well, it is helpful in understanding the severity of the burn and it is very helpful in determining the amount of fluid needed for resuscitation using the Barkland formula because the Barkland formula uh, includes the total body surface area affected by burns in the formula to find out about the amount of fluid needed for resuscitation and it is helpful in determining the nutritional support needed for the patient and the pain management and also to control infection. So let's start by explaining the rule of nine. So it is originally called the Wallace rule of nine relative to the British plastic surgeon Alexander Wallace who first developed this method and it is mainly used as an initial assessment tool in the brief hospital and emergency department, as I mentioned earlier, to estimate the total body surface area affected by the burn. And when the patient reaches the burn units, the land broader chart is used to recalculate the, the total body surface area again, because it is more precise. The land broader chart is always more precise than the rule of nine. It's a quick and easy method that is used for large surface area burns. Now let's learn about how we use the rule of nine to calculate the total body surface area affected by the burns. So in the rule of nine, each body part is given a percentage that is 9% or it is multipliers. So it is either 9% or 18%. And that's why it is called the rule of nine. And we have two different versions for the rule of nine, we have one for the adults and we have one for the children less than 10 years old. And each body part has its own percentage of the total body surface area affected by burn. So for the left arm and the right arm, both take 9% in adults and also in children. And as you can see in this uh, drawing, the uh, arms, all of them are 9%. Now, if the patient had only the anterior part of their arm has been burned, uh, now you, you give them half of the nine. So you give them 4% for their limb. If their both sides are burned, then you give them the full 9%. If they have a quarter of their limb that is burned, then you give them 2.2% and so on. Now the head and neck area is quite different between the adults and children. In adults, it's 9% and in children, it is 18% because the head is much bigger than uh, relative to the body in children more than the adults. 
and that's why we give 18% to the uh, head and neck area in children and again uh, if we had only the anterior part of the head burned then you give them half of the nine so you give them 4.5% if they are adults and you give them only 9% if they are children now for the chest and abdomen area you give 18% for the adults and also the same percentage for children uh, and the entire back also 18% for adults and 18% for children so all of the trunk will be uh, 18 plus 18 equals 36 percent and if they had their genitals are burned then they if they are adults they get one percent more or if they are children they get zero percent and the left leg and right leg uh, in adults would be 18 percent for each of them and in children would be 14 percent and after that you calculate all of the uh, burned areas together and you add them together and you give the total body surface area affected by burn for example if we have a person that had all of their right leg uh, burned from both sides and have their all right arm also burned from both sides and have one side of their left arm is burned to the half then you calculate 18 plus 9 which equals 27% plus 2.2% you get 29% total body uh, surface area affected by burn in this example. The rule of 9 is best accurate in underweight to normal body mass index adults. That is what it is initially developed for and the accuracy is less for children and obese patients. The other method is the rule of palm. It is best used for burns that are less than 10% total body surface area and the size of the patient palm including the fingers equals approximately 1% of the patient total body surface area. Estimation is made by visual assessment so you assess according to what you see only and it is more practical in infants and young children because body surface area is small and easily calculated and it is also used as initial assessment tool for, tot for total body surface area in the pre-hospital and emergency departments the land broader chart again is then used again to recalculate the total body surface area in burn units once the patient reaches there so it is really the land broader chart it is developed by the American surgeons Carlos Land and Newton Browder in 1942. It takes into account the age of the patient unlike the other methods. That is why it is very good for children because it takes into account the age. In children, decreasing percentage of total body surface area for the head and increasing the percentage of the total body surface area for the legs as the child ages. So when the child age is higher, they would have uh, less total body surface area for the head and they would have more body surface area for the legs in the land broader chart. And it is the best method and the most accurate that is used in burn units, but it takes a little more time. That is why it is not used initially because it takes more time to calculate. So this drawing here shows the rule of nine first this is the, the rule of nine on the left which we already talked about and then on this side we have the land and the browser chart so as you can see here each body area assigned a number and some body areas have letters so the head have a letter a the trunk 13 the uh, arm is two percent the forearm is one and a half percent that is just the, the anterior part is one half percent the posterior part is also one half, one and half percent. Same goes for the arm. The anterior part is two percent. The posterior part is two percent. The trunk also. The chest and abdomen thirteen, and the back is thirteen. The buttocks is two and a half, and so on. The dorsal part of the foot is one and three quarters, and also for the posterior part is also one and three quarters 
And also you have the laterals as I mentioned, you have the A lateral, you have the B on the thigh, and you have the C on the leg. Those are laterals because they are changing, and here you find their uh, values. So A for the head, which is half of the head, meaning just the anterior part of the head or the posterior part, which equals to nine and a half if the patient is less than one year in age, and if they are one year in age, they get eight and a half for their anterior part of the head only. And if they are five years, then they get six and a half for the anterior part of their head and so on. The posterior part is also the same values. It is the A value, so it's also nine and a half, eight and a half, and so on. The B is for the thigh and also half of the thigh is so the only the anterior part or the posterior part would equal to two and three quarters if the child uh, is uh, less than one year and if they are one year they get a three and a quarter and so on and if they are older than 15 they get four and a half and the c is for half of the lower leg which is equals to two and a half if the child is less than one year and so on. If they are older than 15, they get three and a quarter. And as you can see, with increasing the age, the head uh, surface area would decrease uh, and between nine and four, so decreasing, while the legs are increasing. So it's two in at zero and three and quarter at 15. And with that, we're to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and see you in the next videos. Peace.